you see there's this wire <laughs> hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i have a special treat for you guys some of you may have seen this in the background in some of my previous videos others not so much but please help me welcome my newest addition to my channel my 1990 toyota camry just start off by giving you a quick little backstory on how I ended up with my Toyota Camry because I know that to some of you this may be totally random so this started a while back where I was thinking I want a true project car a car where I can actually dive in deep and repair it because as most of you know the cars that I work on on my channel are relatively new I'm just improving and upgrading them so I'm pretty much just installing modifications it's nothing like this I wanted a car where I can repair it fix it expand my knowledge and dive in deep some things that I've never done before a car where there's numerous issues where I would have to fix and actually go out of my comfort zone take the engine apart mind you I was thinking about this before the issue with the Shelby GC350 and that was just something that I had in my mind so I started looking I would look from time to time I started looking on eBay I started looking on Craigslist let go offer up and I did find some interesting cars there so I'm not gonna lie I did have a few requirements the first one I wanted it to be an old car second I did not want it to be an American car because I already have plenty of those. Third, I did not want it to be a German car because those parts can get pretty costly. Four, I wanted a decent interior. I know it's not going to be perfect, but I wanted something decent. And fifth, I wanted a car that can run, meaning I can go pick it up, get the key, and then drive it home, something I did not have to tow. So then I landed on Japanese. Naturally, I started looking at Honda Civics because I thought that would be the best choice. So I ended up contacting a few sellers that I saw online and it would be almost the same issue. Some of them would tell me the engine is fine, but the transmission is out. Others would tell me, yeah, the engine is fine. It just overheats later on. Or some, yeah, the engine is fine. It turns on, but later it turns off. I'm not sure what's wrong. So I didn't want that. So I did contact a few more where the options seemed okay, but the moment that I would ask for pictures and videos, they would just stop. So I thought, okay, well, that's not what I want. So then I started looking at Toyota Camrys and for the most part, it was the same thing. The moment that I would ask them for pictures and videos, they would just stop talking to me until I landed on this one. The first thing that caught my eye was the interior. I was like, wow. That is a pretty good interior for this car. The description said that everything was fine, no engine light, it starts up, you can drive it, you didn't have to tow it. So when I contacted the sender, I was like, you know what, I'm interested in this car, is there anything that I should know? He told me exactly what the car was, it matched the description, so I decided to meet up with him, and it was exactly what he had told me. It matched the pictures, it matched the description, I was so happy, and I ended up paying cash. So I paid him $900, I took the key, and and I drove it home without any issues and here we are today. So let's get to the fun part. Let's talk about this car. So once again, like I mentioned before, this is a 1990 Toyota Camry and let's take a brief moment to admire the wonderful paint job that this car has or better said that it once had. If you look at it now, it does seem like it's had some rough days, but then again, it is 30 years old, so it's not like you can blame it. So now looking and touching the paint, this really doesn't seem like it can be saved, so that's going to be one of the things that's going to have to be worked on on this car. I think that'll be towards the end of the build. Now let me show you something funny. Now if you can see, the hood is open because it has a pretty interesting way of opening it. So if we come down here, you see there's this wire. <laughs> so the way to open up the hood is 
with two people. One has to be pulling on this wire. The second one has to be inside pulling the hood latch. So while doing those two together, then you can actually open up the hood. So it is open because yesterday I did have to charge the battery because it wouldn't start. So now let's get to the even funner part, which is opening up the hood and see exactly how the engine bay looks. Here is the heart and soul of the Toyota Camry. So this is a four cylinder engine. I know that some of you are asking me whether this was the V6 one. It is not, it is the four cylinder. So this is how the engine bay looks and it is extremely, extremely dusty. I can tell you that the last time someone cleaned this was probably never. <laughs> Now, upon looking at this, it seems to me that maybe the alternator is a little new, maybe a couple years new. That belt seems new and maybe, I may be wrong, maybe the starter, it seems just a little bit more dustier than the alternator. And of course, this battery is brand new, which the guy did tell me when I purchased the car that he had just bought this battery, installed it and everything worked fine. But of course, it keeps dying on me, so there must be something else. Now, I'm sure there are a number of hidden issues here but i'll probably end up just stumbling upon those later on other than that i mean that's pretty much it other than these cosmetic issues and that whole process that they invented in order to open up the hood and i mean that's it for the engine bay <laughs> now starting with the problems that i've noticed with the car so far so this light is missing another thing is that whenever i'm driving this car and i make left turns there's like a clunking sound that i hear from the right side so i'm not really sure what What's wrong with the suspension maybe there's something loose maybe something broken maybe old i'm not too sure but i'll have to figure that later on now as far as the body like i mentioned before the paint is not in the best state moving on here i'm not really sure if you'll be able to capture this on camera but it does have a few dents so it has a small dent right there it has a larger dent here and then it has another small dent there and of course getting back to rust there's a spot here this is the wonderful paint job that it has on the trunk. And then there's another rust spot here, which I'm sure there's plenty more. All of the doors open from both the outside and the inside, except for this one. So this is the driver rear. It does not open from the outside, but you can open it from the inside. Now let me open this and show you how the interior looks. So once again, this is the thing that caught my eye from the pictures. The interior looks so good. I know it's not perfect. It's not in excellent condition, but you can tell that whoever had this car did really take care of this, at least with the interior. Now, the only thing that's bothering me with this car is that radio. I cannot get that to turn off. It even has this little remote and I tried everything to turn it off, but it does not turn off. I tried just buttons here. It just does not turn off at all. And I am sure that is what's causing my body to drain. So I need to figure that out. I need to find a way to turn it off or just remove it because I don't want to have to keep charging that battery in order to turn on this car. And I mean, that's it. It's pretty dusty inside, but I am in awe of how they kept this interior. So that is it for today's video. I know this was a short one, but I just wanted to formally introduce to you the latest addition to my channel, which is the Toyota Camry. And I know I didn't go into full detail about the car because I do plan on doing that in a future video where we'll have it on the two posts. And then we'll take a look underneath because I am sure that we'll find other problems. But for now, we'll just take it day by day. Now there are plenty of things that need to be done to this car, starting with the engine bay. It needs a deep cleaning. It also 
needs an interior cleaning and a wash. Even though it's still not going to look pretty after the wash, at least it'll be clean. Now, one of the reasons that I am so excited to take on this project is because my parents had this car before I was born. And then when I was born, this was the first car that I was in. The only difference is that they had a 1989 Toyota Camry, so it's more or less the same trim. Theirs was white and this one is maroon. So that's why I'm very excited to fix it, get it back up and running to its normal natural state in all its glory. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.